Wonderful. And how did the fruit come? From a little tiny seed. That apple came from a little seed. Uh, and he put that seed in the ground and just by water and sun, sunlight and little earth is there. And all of a sudden there's a big tree after a few years. And there are so many apples, tons of fruit every year, year. And then again so many seeds coming from that. And from each of the seeds you can have so many other uh, trees, millions of trees. And that's just going on. So where's the scientist who can build a watch that is self Rep, uh, how you say, self-reproducing or self-replicating. You buy one cardiac fillet and in the end you have 1,000 cardiac fillet watches. Which is very nice, but nobody can do it. It has an inverse brain and everything, you can do this. Nor can they manufacture even one apple. They can build a huge factory costing a billion dollars. They cannot make one apple. Because uh, a seed, or they cannot make such a machine, like a seed is such a small one. Machine, which you put in the ground and just water, you add earth and sunlight and you get so many nice tons of fruit. So build one machine where you just put earth, water and sunshine and you have so many nice sweets or fruit, watches, whatever. <laughs> Nobody can do it. Even not, we don't say make it so small, make it big like a skyscraper that factory, you cannot do it. Just put in water, earth and sunlight and you get so much food. Nobody can build such a machine. So who has built this machine that they don't give any credit who has given it? So therefore Prabhupada says, rightfully grasped <laughs> fools and restless. When he was asked us about these modern uh, speculators and so on, and he said, I can only answer two things. First, they are fools. Second, they are rescued. And Prabhupada said it again and again. <laughs> then one day, this doctor, what was this? Uh, Dr. Patel? Yeah, Bombay. Uh, so many times he asked questions, and then Prabhupada would always say, because they are fools, they are rescued. So then he asked another question. Then Prabhupada said, what do you think? Maybe they are fools and rescuers. Probably said, now you understood. <laughs> <laughs> and rescuer is not a very hateful term. It's like the father who is saying to the child, you rescuer, you little rescuer. It's not really, he doesn't. You can call them the things that may be even worse than that. But because pure devotee is compassionate, all he's saying, you are a fool, you are But we are here not to just reject you, but to open you. Please don't be envious of the Supreme Creator, but give Him credit. So that is our mission, Hare Krishna mission. There is no other mission like that so boldly challenging science with so much uh, 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 detailed knowledge of God about the creation, about the sub-creation, the origin of so many different levels of creation also in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah, because the, we have knowledge of the spiritual energy that they usually don't have. So, but ultimately, as I said here, all the laws of religion are uh, based on the direct uh, order of the Supreme Law. Uh, the, the law of gravity is also uh, made by the Supreme Law and the law of karma or something like that. So you cannot, once I was, had a job for a short time in, in investment bank and one of my colleagues, she said, she was a little into esoteric thing. She didn't know I'm devotee, but I, I said I'm practicing yoga and I'm training and so on. And then uh, she, I know was this one of Prasad, and then she said, we talked about karma, and she said, I'm already above the law of karma. <laughs> so I, I told her there were many before who thought like this. <laughs> but they all failed. It's not that easy as you think. She became very upset. She had been into some pseudo-yoga where you just enjoy your senses and then you think I'm about the law of karma just because I believe it. But that is many people have thought, many rest of have thought that. And the next day or one week later she was fired, she made some mistake and uh, I didn't say anything but see how the law of karma works. So it's not so easy to become free from the law of karma. You first of all have to recognize the law giver and take shelter. If you deny it, then you are uh, rested. If you deny even in a normal state, if you deny the law and you think I can do whatever I like, I'm above the law, then you're a lawbreaker, and then you become permanent. Then you become
No nonsense, number one. Full rest of nonsense. <laughs> <How is this? laughs> so we have to be sensitive when we present. We don't just want to be a hate preacher. We want to encourage people and make contact. But we have all the arguments. And when we say it in a nice way, like Prabhupada, it, it depends on how you say it. They actually appreciate it because they know what they are. <laughs> the real intelligent ones, they know what they are. <laughs> So this is very important verse, Dharma to Saksha Bhagavana Prani. Shimad Bhagavatam ki. Jaharaj Bhishma Devaki. Jaharaj Prabhupada ki.